Hello everyone, Kyle here and today we're back for some more Plague Inc. As someone who prides themselves on having an overtly cheery outlook on life, I often find myself sitting quietly in parks on warm summer afternoons, watching families frolic through the fields of green, or whatever it is people and families do, and I find myself lost in thought. I think about all the ways that they and everyone they know and love will someday Die. I have many theories on the end of the world, but none are closer to the truth for me than the idea that cats are going to enslave all of humanity. So let's go right ahead and help them get it over with, using the custom scenario catastrophe by Morphed. So the first thing we need to do is alter the DNA genetic code of our illness. This changes how our plague behaves in the game. And much like the family member you'd happily bury in the back garden if they died, you want them well behaved. We'll start with the ATP boost which gives more DNA in the beginning. I think it's always good to have more DNA than you need so that you can share it with others. We'll get the base hydrolysis which allows our plague to mutate abilities at the cost of being easier to cure. Normally it can only mutate symptoms similar to what a TikTok influencer does. However, unlike a TikTok influencer, people will still remember the plague after 5 minutes and we want it to go undetected. We'll also get suppression which allows the plague to spread across closed borders. We'll go for the zero file which gives a bonus in arid countries and the final one is bonus DNA when de-evolving which I won't do anyway. Never ever de-evolve for anyone. As for the difficulty we'll go with normal as it has more people washing their hands than currently do in the world. It has doctors working longer hours than ever before and it ignores sick people which just makes you question what the doctors are doing when they actually turn up at work. We'll go ahead and give our plague a name. Me out. <laughs> Chicken it is because it sounds like meow. And it will be the last thing you say before you die. Welcome to Catastrophe. Can your cats conquer the world? Well, I sure hope so. Just look at that face. So cute. Cats rule. Make cats more cute and interesting to win people's hearts. I don't think this is possible, but I'll try. So the first thing that any good plague needs to do is pick a country to start in. I'm thinking we'll go for a place that is known for its love of felines. I don't want to go with the obvious such as places like Japan or even the statistically accurate which is places like America or Russia. No, I will pick one where cats have been treated like equals long before the age of social media. Turkey. That and on the map it's pretty central so tactically it's a nice place to start our invasion. So we've got our first infected. We need to keep popping these bubbles which will give us DNA points. The DNA points help us to improve Meowch into a plague that can rival even the deadliest of illnesses, such as man flu. We can upgrade things like the transmission which helps us share the plague with everyone, the symptoms which help people understand that they should avoid you, the abilities which makes the plague stronger and smarter. I think the first thing we want to do is help it spread as far afield as possible, so we'll go with the cat rescue first. People start to rescue cats, increase number of cats, especially in poor regions, and mutation chances. Oh, mutation is good. It gives you free unlocks without the cost of DNA points. There we go, we can see the red blob starting to appear all over Turkey's face. No, this isn't a variation of the chicken pox called turkey pox. This represents the areas that cats have already infiltrated. Now we just want to keep popping bubbles and watching the infection rate rise. Cool, we have enough to upgrade again. Stray cats won. People start getting cats from shelters, increase infectivity, especially in hot climates, and chance of mutation. Pop a few more. Nice. We'll go for this one next. Heat resistance. Cats evolved to withstand hot temperatures and climates. You can see the information of a country by hovering over this area. Turkey is only a rural country so it won't help here, but the countries surrounding it are hot countries so it will help to get into those places. What's this? Banks report record profits? Well that's good isn't it? Except you're going to be dead soon so none of it's going to matter. Let's go ahead and speed the game up a bit so we can end this misery quicker. You can see all the airplanes and boats moving around the planet like little ants. These are both good ways to get the illness to spread its infection to other countries that have airports or docks. Meowch has infected hundreds in Turkey, increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a healthy person. Well that couldn't be more obvious could it? Keep evolving it says, fine if I have to. We'll get the drug resistance one now. Cats become resistant to class 1 and 2 anti-cat. 
tactics. <laughs> Clever. Increased effectiveness in wealthy countries. It's worth getting this early so that we can affect the rich countries quicker, as they're the more likely to start a cure. Somewhere like Canada, for instance, who just can't help themselves helping others. Bloody nice Canadians. Always ruining all the evil in the world. Meowch has infected thousands in Turkey. People are being infected faster and faster. Oh, well, this is some good news. Soon enough, all the world will own a cat or be dead or whatever it is we're trying to achieve here. We've just got our first DNA free mutation. Insomnia, huh? I'm familiar with that. But just for giggles, let's see what it does. Cats awaken their owners in the middle of the night. Inability to sleep makes people irritable and less productive. Oh, that's strange. My cats don't do this. I'm usually the one that wakes them up to be fed. Let's keep gathering that sweet, sweet DNA. Nice, the Middle East has just been infected. Let's celebrate the shared love by getting another transmission method. Rodent hunt one. Cats are being used to hunt rats. Increase infectivity, especially in urban regions, and the mutation chance, which I'm just a big fan of. If we didn't have mutations in the world, we wouldn't have one of the greatest fictional superhero teams of all time. You know, the Kardashians. God bless that wacky family's ability to lower the IQ of anyone who watches them. Meowch is infected more countries. Control where it goes by evolving transmission traits. What did we just do? Seriously, keep up. Oh, it really is spreading. Russia has it, along with Iraq and Iran. The Balkan states have just gained their first cats. Turkey at this point is more cat than it is bird. New minor disease spreading. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Turkey has found a new disease which has been named Meowch. Oh, that's a coincidence, because that's also what I called it. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. Yeah, harmless, is it? We have such a good track record for understanding when things are harmless. Just look at smoking, lead paint, asbestos, and not to forget Bill Cosby. Let's get another transmission now. Insect Hunt 1. Cats are being used to hunt insects, increase infectivity, especially in rural regions, and that sweet, sweet, sweet mutation chance. Turkey is the first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure for Meowch. Without great funding, it is expected to take a long time. Oh, drug resistance 2 mutated, so it's given us resistances to class 3 and 4 anti-catics, <laughs> which further increases the effectiveness in wealthy countries. Oh, hold on to your maple leaf, Canada, because we're coming for you. Oh, we've just hit our first country in Africa, Egypt. It still isn't spreading far enough, though. It's mostly just hitting the countries that are close by. We'll change that one day when we feel like it. Haha, <laughs> yes. Now we're getting all up in the Scandinavian countries' faces. Kazakhstan has also been infected. Keep on popping. Oh, another mutation. Scratch a symptom. What does that do then? Cats start to scratch their owners during play by accident. Since we got this free, let's buy another transmission. Bird Hunt 1. Cats are used to hunt birds on fields. Increase infectivity, land transmission and mutation chance. Oh, look at that. The bird hunters have really helped it spread. Next, we'll want to open up air and sea travel so that the cats can get across the oceans to some of the more isolated areas of the world, such as Greenland and Britain. Let's get air travel first. Cats are allowed on planes. This should have already been a thing. And water next. Cats are now less afraid of water. Increased infectivity, especially in humid environments, and ship transmission. Oh, that's just swell. Experts have noticed very high levels of bird migration. They are worried that birds could rapidly spread disease between countries if they become infected. Nice, the infected rate is skyrocketing, and we have enough DNA for another bird rank. Bird Hunt 2. Packs of cats are being rented to secure crops from avian pests. Increased mutation, infectivity, and land-based transmission. That should get the plague whizzing around the globe. Just in time too, it seems. Birds are migrating in vast numbers. If infected with disease, they could be expected to carry the disease great distances to new countries. Well, let's just see how infected they were. We've also got enough DNA for something else. This is just a brilliant day, isn't it? I'll get heat resistance too now. Cats start to sweat. It allows them to withstand extreme heat. That should help to get the hot countries more infected. I guess with the world pushing a 
quality, we should also start working on the cold countries because they're not so infected at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you, Canada. Meowch has mutated and developed the three or more symptom. Oh, what's this one do? It's now socially acceptable to own three or more cats. Increase infection rate and lethality. Well, personally, I think it's socially unacceptable to have less than three cats, but each to their own. Let's upgrade air travel too next. Planes now have special seats just for cats. Increase plane transmission. Special seats, huh? I bet you won't spare any expense on legroom still, will ya? China shuts down airport. China has become the first country to try and limit the spread of Meowch by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if this will work. <laughs> I can tell you it, um, it's, it's not going to. Let's just call it an educated guess. I mean, just look at China. It's fully red now. That's a whole country of cat lovers right there. People are also starting to die now. Let's up the transmission some more. Water too. Cats are not afraid of water at all. Increase infectivity, especially in humid environments and ship transmission. Oh, there we go. Look at the red engulf in the humid countries. The ships are also spreading it to the smaller islands, which is exactly what we wanted. Charities are holding a Meowch Awareness Day to raise the profile of the disease and encourage development of a cure. I guess they'll be holding some kind of live aid event for Meowch victims. Just please, whatever you do, don't get Bono. Anybody but Bono. I guess if a cure is in the works now, we should get genetic misbehaving. Cats become harder to analyse in the lab. Decreases future research speed. We'll also go for rank 2 just to make it extra hard. Cats refuse to cooperate with scientists. Decreases future research speed. That should slow things right down now and give the cats time to finish that much deserved nap they're having. The final thing we're gonna buy is cold resistance one. Cats grow longer fur. They can now survive in colder environments. Hopefully that means Canada. Oh, I haven't forgotten. Well, the USA is having some problems. So is Russia, but we knew that already. The World Cup has been cancelled due to fears over Meowch. Nice, we're finally doing some good in the world. Meowch has mutated and developed the feeding time symptoms. What's this one do? Cats require feeding at very early times. Sleep deprivation make people unproductive. Oh, I can vouch for that one. I am very unproductive. In fact, I'll finish this video later. I need to take a nap. Okay, we're back and productivity has resumed. Actually, I'll just take another nap first. Only joking, we do have fun here. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Now we can get rodent hunt too. Cats are the most popular weapon to fight rodents. Increases infectivity, especially in urban regions and the mutation chance. Fear slows economy. Fear of Meowch is causing the global economic market to panic. Land, air and sea trade are slowing, as well as all economic activity. I can vouch for this one too. I don't even leave my flat because I'm afraid of the neighbourhood cats. Meowch has been placed on a Who watch list. Already dangerous, governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. Aren't the Who the ones from Dr. Seuss? You damn rhyming bastards. You'll win to cheer an apple tart. Left the Grinch with a swollen heart. Now you're trying to hurt me, ouch. And you're making me a grouch. For your sake, I must insist. Keep me off your f***ing list. Oh, what's this? Egypt has started to send research teams to infected countries, hoping to speed up development of a cure for Meowch. What? Not Canada? All this time. I blamed them for something they were never going to do. Now I feel bad. Sorry, Canada. I hope you survive this apocalypse so we can get to know each other better. I'm really not a bad guy. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for Meowch. Well, that's not good, is it? Why are people so committed to surviving plagues. If I was alive back in 1665, you just know I'd have been treating the bubonic plague like Pokemon Go and trying to catch it all. Let's start getting some symptoms now. Some people can't get enough of cats. Owning 20 or more cats starts to become more and more popular. Increased infectivity. Oh, we've done it. Oh, nice. A mutation. Cuteness one. What's this one do? Cats get more adorable and more eager to play with humans. That can't possibly be a bad thing. 
And as it's not a bad thing, let's get a bad thing. Cat experiments. Cat ladies start to experiment on cats, altering their DNA with my first chemistry sets. Increase mutation chance. Oh yes, please. Well, that certainly was bad. The world is pretty much all red except for Greenland. You lying white bastards. Oh no, Canada, you're sick. Oh, you, you, you're sick. Stay away from me. Our blossoming friendship is dead. Egypt, will you stop trying to cure the plague already? I know you had it bad back in the BC, but that's so last millennia it's not even funny. Get over it already, will ya? The cure is at 50%. This isn't good. We're gonna need to kill people faster. Let's get another symptom. The first pictures of cats appear in newspapers. Oh, this has to make us so people read the news more, which will depress them because the news is always depressing. Yeah. Couch has mutated and developed the cat pack's ability. What's this then? Cats start to gather into packs that roam the countryside? What even is this? We're just turning cats into what? Sheep? How's that bad? <laughs> Pun unintended. Egypt is certainly starting to suffer. Still a lot more alive and infected than there are dead, which isn't good. Cures at 75%. The world is entirely red, but the deaths are still going too slowly. We need to get some more DNA points quickly to get some really lethal symptoms. 82%. This is really starting to worry me. Oh, what's this? A mutation? Could this have saved the day? Meowch has mutated and developed the cat borg symptom. That sounds interesting. Cat ladies have found a way to infuse genetically modified cats with technology such as lawnmowers, microwaves and toasters. Cats are now very useful but also deadly. Oh boy oh boy. We might have been saved by a freak mutation. Oh 90% cure is still not quick enough. I was expecting some terminator level extinction but I guess the worst a cat toaster could do is burn your toast and get crumbs on your sofa. We're going to have to get strange behaviour one to help slow the cure down. Cats ask people to open closed doors and then they do not enter. Oh you cunning buggers. Well that's knocked the cure back to 81%. Sit down. The last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with Meowch. Oh good we've got all of you. Even you Canada you wintry bastard. Oh sorry I forgot it's Egypt I'm mad at. Let's get another symptom now. Movie stars admit to like cats. Oh, that certainly has some serious implications of serious evilness. Wait for a few more DNA points to generate and we've got movies. First cat got a lead role in a Hollywood blockbuster action movie. It was a smashing success. Seven new movies only with cat actors are being produced. Oh good, I think actors are overrated anyway. The first movie franchise I hope cats fixes the X-Men films. We can call them the X-Cats. No, no, that's stupid. We'll call them the cat men. No, not that. The the seamen. Yes, that's perfect. The seamen will make a real splash in the film world. It will be on the tongues of every household. The glue that keeps families together. The oh god, what did I just say? Please don't cancel me over this. I I think the X Men films are. Fine. Let's get books next. Books about cats are becoming popular. Well, that's good, isn't it? The UK is first to fall into anarchy over Meowch. No cure research can take place. Oh, good old England. Never fails to let me down. I can tell you we're the same when it snows. We just don't know how to handle it. So we just close all the schools, take to the streets and kill each other. Oh, Egypt is starting to fall. There's only 19 million people left. The cure is at 89% though, so it's going to be Close. Let's get more lethality. Cats follow their owners everywhere, not giving them any privacy. No idea how this is bad, but let's go with it. Oh, the cure's going backwards, which I guess is because the amount of people left is dwindling. The world only has 65 million people left in it, which actually sounds like a reasonable number to me. Egypt is down to its last million. No more research soon. Egypt is no more. The world is descending into a cat hell. There's only 3.7 million people remaining. 
million. The world is at its last million. All hail the cats and and me. The rulers of the world. Meowch has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans lie dying in holes with no chance of survival. Finally, I'm influencing people. I'm an influencer. Hooray for me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm a people too. Oh, crap. That means I'm going to die. Oh, well, I had a, um, I won't say a good run, but it was a run. So I guess I had a run. <laughs> Victory.